NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And again, this is Faulkner saying, actually, natural learning processes might have been a better name. So think about it as natural learning processes rather than the NLP. Okay? So again, there's a natural way that we all learn. How do our brains process language? Now again, you've got to open up your mind to possibilities. Okay? So regardless of any previous thoughts, just kick back and say, all right, there's got to be something here. Relax, open up, and let's see what we can learn. The answer to how the brain processes language is very, very literally. People often say things like, don't worry, don't think about it. What happens if I tell you not to think about a problem? Well, despite what I said, you just, you'll think about the problem. That's because our brains cannot understand putting something in negative language. In order to know what not to think about, our brains have to first think about it. Okay? There's, I don't remember, I'm not a big baseball fan, but there was a specific, uh, I think it may have been a World Series. You know, so-and-so's got the game in hand. The manager pulls a pitcher over to uh, the side in the dugout prior to going out. And, you know, just for drama, let's say it's the uh, bottom of the ninth inning. This pitcher and his team are ahead. And he says, whatever you do, don't throw it high and outside on a fastball. And, of course, his mind didn't process the don't. He goes out, throws high and outside. The guy smacks it out of the park, and they win the game. Okay? So when we talk about it, and the reason I'm bringing all this up is... uh, uh, in looking at a couple of trading plans, okay? I won't, I don't, and so on. We want to make sure that it's first person, it's positive. So you, your mind does not understand don't. It can't process that information, okay? Consider the example of experienced traders telling new traders, don't worry about the money, don't think about the money. Although that may sound like good advice, what's going to happen? The new traders will repeat the phrase to themselves until they're literally obsessing about the money because they don't process the don't side, especially at a subconscious level. Okay, so remember, focus on the trading plan. Okay, when I follow my rules of engagement. When is a presuppositional phrase. I am presupposing, as are you, when you make that statement about yourself, that you are doing it. It's not a question of if, okay, that's presuppositional, presupposing. Okay, so when we look at the secret as an example, or go down to a car dealership today as soon as we get done and test drive an automobile. Not any old car. Go test drive the automobile that you absolutely see yourself in if that's something that's important to you. And I want you to think about what the dealership will do. Obviously, they're going to pre-qualify and they're going to go through all this stuff, but then they want you in the car. And if you're anything like me, I tend to be visual, okay? So think about a couple of the modalities that are addressed. I sit in the car. That's obviously what? Kinesthetic. Feel. There's olfactory. I smell the smell of new leather, which I absolutely love. Okay? I take the car out on the drive. There's auditory. I hear the sound of the engine. Okay? And if I'm driving fast enough, I might even hear the sound of the tire screeching as I cruise around a corner. But what I'm looking for in a car, they want to make sure that I experience that at a specific level. Then I attach my desire for that to each one of those. And again, if you do that enough, you can go back in and you can recall the feelings that you had by creating that neuro association to that auditory, that visual, okay, how that car looks. I'm telling you what, I went down and test drove the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. And in my opinion, there's just nothing finer. I mean, that car sounds like it's just going to, it's a rocket ship ready to explode right when you start it. And so... I sat in the car, I smelled the new leather, I felt the new leather in my hands, you know, I drove the automobile, all of that stuff, and I created those associations. And in fact, right now, I'm getting excited just thinking about it as I recall that information. So understand the link that is created, neuroassociation, regardless of what that external stimulus might be. Now, we can choose what that stimulus is, and then we have the benefit also of choosing what association we're going to attach to it. Okay, so if I see a chart and I see red candles and the market's headed south, RSI's oversold in support one, if I feel fear, I can eliminate that fear. I can turn that into excitement, but it requires choice and it requires repetition. If I had bought that mistakenly three times previously and all three times I'd been stopped out, or if I had done it one time mistakenly and then the next two trades were just losing trades, I may have installed short-term fear. 
And that might be all it is that needs to be done in order to stop me from trading that next signal. The next time the market rolls down, hits that area, visually I see it. I see the RSI buried. I see the red candles on the chart. I see the support one pivot right there. And when I see all of those things, remember it's 100% visual at this point, I feel what I felt as a result of buying it the last three times. And the result, the three prior times, had been losses. I've attached losing equals pain. I've created that neuroassociative condition in my mind. And thus, this time, I respond based on that new data. And this time, I miss the winning trade. Now I beat myself up because I didn't follow my plan. And you can see how that can just go over and over and over and over. Okay? Some traders trade because they like the excitement of trading. Okay? Don't do it that way. But understand the importance of this. So back to the Porsche. He sends me an email thanking me coming down for the test drive. And in this email is a link. And I can go to the Porsche.com website and they have audio of that Porsche starting up as it was in my driveway and then starting from a dead stop and just punching it. And what do I do as soon as I get that email? I sit here and I play that thing over and over and over and I feel just like I felt when I was driving the car and had the same experience. Now, am I in the car right now? I am not. Do I feel the same way I felt when I was in the car? Pretty close. Now, we take a look and let's move forward. Let's move forward to Dr. Dennis Whateley, PhD in psychology. He's done work with the best of the best, worked with Olympic athletes. Uh, he's worked with, obviously, CEOs of corporations, understands uh, the process about creating this type of stuff. In doing work with the athletes, he found that an athlete can visualize a course, as an example, or visualize whatever their particular talent might be. If it's a basketball shooter, they would visualize themselves, Kobe Bryant, you know, rising up with three seconds left on the clock and hitting a 22-foot jump or nothing but cotton. And they found that when they would visualize this and recall this information mentally, with their eyes closed sitting in a locker room, that the same muscles fired in the same sequence or the same progression as when they were actually on the court. And they knew this, obviously, because they had hooked them up with electrodes, and they watched the progression and how the muscles fired. You know, as the quadriceps fired to press them off as they elevated for the jump shot, the shoulder muscles fired, bringing the ball above their head, and then the forearm, boom. It's the same thing in trading. And again, the way you overcome past trading experiences that are not serving you is through repetition. Repetition of good common practice. Repetition of doing the same thing over and over and over. Again, as you trade in your simulation account, you will trade real time, whether you believe it or not. That is just the truth. So trade your simulation account exactly as you intend to trade your live account. Understand the importance and the value of the progression. Okay? So I want to go over it and over it and over it, and at some point, you'll finally get it. And even when you get to that point, the repetition here is always helpful. Okay? So, when I follow my rules of engagement, the money will follow. If you feel the preceding video was a valuable tool to you, we'd like to encourage you to go deeper by visiting our website at thetradingauthority.com. Click on the free Live Room Trial button to receive over two hours of exclusive trading psychology videos and one entire week of live coaching and mentoring with master trader Todd Brown as he demonstrates his exclusive dynamic structured trading system live. Simply fill in your name and email address and wait for the logon instructions to arrive. Don't wait to take control of your trading education. Take advantage of this free offer now.